YouTube, welcome back. Let's check in on our little airline called Diagonal Airways. I see a lot of red, but also some yellow. It's not quite green yet, but uh, well, you know, let's see what's uh, what's been happening with all these uh, routes. So we can click on all the routes here, but we can also just go to this screen and sort by, for example, profit. So our uh, route to Lyon in France has been very wacky, apparently. Um, yeah, the demand has been fluctuating quite a lot. So what can we do about that? I think we will just need to decrease the price for now, accept that we won't make a profit, maybe increase the service quality a bit, and attract more passengers, but really we will get more passengers by increasing the capacity of the other routes. For example, this one to Damascus. It's not making a profit, but it is full. So what we will do is we will increase the capacity and the price. What would be the default price? Oh, that would be much higher. Yeah. So let's uh, increase it to something like this and hope the passengers won't uh, go somewhere else. This route to Germany has also been fluctuating, but not quite as much as the other one. So you can slightly increase the price. Then the route to Rome, <coughs> this one is full. Let's increase the capacity. And this is all we can do for now. We are limited by the number of airplanes. So we could buy another airplane to uh, increase the capacity. And in fact, let's do that. We can do that right in the screen. Purchase another airplane. So now we can increase the capacity way more. Let's also increase, increase the service level a bit and Ooh, the default price is this. Let's stay a bit below the default price, but we will need to go up at some point. Our money uh, is dwindling, running out of money, so we really need to make a profit soon. Uh, this one to Bergamo in Italy is full. Let us increase the capacity, and what's the default price? Let's see if we can ask the default price, see if there are people willing to go. Latakia, where is that? Where is this route? Oh, that's in Syria. So that's this route right here. Uh, it's full. So increase capacity. Ask a bit below the default price, see if it still gets full. And uh, that was this one. Then Aleppo in Syria is also full. So that's all nice. Ask a bit below the a bit below the default price. Barcelona and Spain can be improved, at least the capacity and the price. Uh, Thessaloniki, same thing, improve the capacity. Oh, we're running out of slots in our uh, hometown. So this is a problem because now we're getting to the more profitable routes. Actually, this one to Athens, it's already making a profit. Um, we could upgrade our headquarters, then we will get more slots. That costs a bit more than 3 million. Let's do that. It's our headquarters after all. We will need many slots. Okay, now we have 39 available slots. Very nice. It will also cost more uh, to up in, in terms of upkeep, but yeah, that's the price we're willing to pay for now. Uh, Thessaloniki can increase a bit further now, and the price as well. Ooh, let's ask a bit above the default price. <coughs> Same with Antalya. Service level 2 should be nice. Uh, where is this? Larnaca. I think that's uh, Cyprus. Can we see that here? Yeah, Cyprus. Then this city in Turkey. This one's also full, Amman. And finally, our route to Athens. This one is really important because it's a domestic route, but it's also really close by. So uh, you can also see how much time it takes for passengers to get there. In this case, it's uh, 400 kilometers, so it's a bit over an hour. So yeah, let's just make this one as full capacity as possible. Increase the price like this. What's the default price? Uh, 
Okay, a bit below, uh, a bit above default price. It's already making profit, but uh, we can increase our profit even more. All right. Anything else? Yeah, we could um, get a loan for four million, uh, but I'm not sure if that's necessary. We could s replace our oldest airplanes, but this one is still in 90% condition, which is fine. Uh, no need to um, to replace it. Uh, we could build one new route, maybe if we um, buy a second-hand airplane, for example. Actually, this one is almost 100% condition, but it's a lot cheaper. So uh, yeah, let's let's buy this one, second-hand airplane, and then uh, make another route. So shall we go to the northwest or to the south? East. I feel like we could use another domestic route. Maybe to an, one of these smaller airports in Greece. Um, one of those islands, maybe. Yeah, I'm mainly looking at the population coverage here. So it should still be quite big. So this one, for example, just does it have enough population? Uh, a small one of these small islands, Santorini. Yeah, I thought it was a popular tourist attraction, but I don't see a s tourist symbol. Santorini. Mykonos. Um, which one should we choose? Ooh, Alexander the Great International Airport. Yeah, sounds sounds like a good option. Uh, what's the airport skill here? It's a it's a small airport still. Yeah, let's choose this one. We make a route. We start by a lo using a lower price, and um, that's it. Make the create the route. So now we're almost out of money. Uh, we still have some slots which we can use next time to further increase the capacity of uh, our most profitable routes. And um, that's it for now. Let's check if we have... Ooh, we are a champion country. So we get a reputation bonus for uh, being uh, one of the champions in Syria. So with 10 passengers, we're uh, third. We got a bronze medal. So uh, yeah, we got our first medal. Let's see how we're doing in Greece. Probably not quite there yet yeah we are we have 504 passengers a week in order to get in fifth place we need over 1847 and i believe this airline is the one that the developer of the game uh, is controlling so it will be hard to to uh, to beat that one in terms of competition also air airlines like this one are athens they are just uh yeah you could call them uh, NPC airlines, so they are not uh, they are not made by players in the game. They are made by the developer, but they follow special rules. For example, they uh, they don't lose money, but they also don't gain money, uh, something like that, I believe. And they are just like to make sure that there are some connections in the game already, uh, without um, yeah, even if there would be no players, that there will still be connections. Uh, you can see that in this uh, rivals list as well. So these are all the airlines. And if you sort by name, you can see that there are a bunch of these NPC airlines. So Air Glasgow, Air in India, Air Istanbul, etc. Et so they all have the name of the city or country and then a uh, abbreviation. So these are the NPC uh, airlines. And let's sort by reputation again to see how we are doing. Uh, we are at 28 reputation. <coughs> Here it is, diagonal airways. And uh, yeah, only... Um oh yeah, we could build another base. So that might be a good one for next time. To build a base in Asia. In, uh, maybe in the Turkish city. So that will be a good, uh, good option for next time if we have a, a bit more money. Because if we would build a base here, for example, how much would that cost? 
Two and a half million. No, it's not that much. So yeah, when we're running out of roots, so we still have quite some regional roots and domestic roots we can create. If we're running out of them, we can uh, build a new base and then we will get more of them. Service funding is steady and uh, I like it to keep it at this level. Uh, we are cheap and uh, not high quality, but, but cheap and uh, reliable airline after all. And that's it. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.